Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am, I'm sort of on a, um, I'm on a mission to be way, way more consistent with my uploads. So anyways, I had, um, I'm not too sure if my vlog video is going before this video, but I'm going to show you a couple of other things. And some of this is in response to questions that I've gotten. I have mentioned a couple of times, whoops, I have mentioned a couple of times rip skirts and rip skirts hawaii now rip skirts hawaii they have no idea i exist they don't know me they did not send me this um this is just me talking about rip skirts hawaii and i happen to really love them so let me just show you my my two rip skirts that i have right now so this particular rip skirt i've shown before so if you don't know rip skirt, they come in a few different lengths and they come in different sizes. The only place you can get it is on the internet. I have um, purchased from Amazon, um, but I have mostly purchased directly from rip skirts themselves. So I wear my rip skirt in the length number two, which on me, and it's important for you to know, I'm 5'6", I'm large boned, and I, I don't want something that is going to hug my bum. I get a big bum. I get big thighs. I don't want that um, Kardashian bum look. Sorry. So rip skirts, because they have a little in the back, they sort of have like a little, not a pleat, but the way it is designed and that the way they've designed this, it almost is like an A-line so that the skirt instead of hugging your butt flows out and makes your butt look good it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't accent it but if you want your butt accented of course you could probably find another skirt but i don't want my butt accented so i have rip skirt i bought this in extra large the way rip skirt works is it is something that you can wrap around you and the length two falls to me right above my knee so you can wrap it around you and it's, it's designed to go around you and then there's Velcro at the top to hold it, right? So it goes around you, you have this little skirt, you can wear it over a bathing suit, you can wear it with a top, you can wear it however you want it. I have gone in the water with this. They have a pocket, they have actually a little hidden pocket for your keys if you wanted. Um, I've worn this to the beach. This is the first one I got in black last year. And again, this is, if you're looking at rip skirts, this is length number two. And my size is extra large. It wraps around me nicely. If the wind blows, I don't have to worry about it splitting open, especially if I'm not wearing a bathing suit underneath it and say I'm wearing undies, right? Because I've done that. I don't have to worry about it splitting open. I have not tried the three, the length three, although I've been very, very curious about trying that because I think it probably, I don't might be a nice length, but the description of it, the length number two is, I think, 19 inches roughly. And I think length number three is another seven inches on top of that, which if I measure correctly, that would fall right about at my upper calf level, which is not the best place for something to fall on me. I either want my capris when I wear them to go down a little bit below my calf, um, and the same thing with anything else I wear, or up right at above the knee, depending on the cut. So this, um, the cat, I think I'm afraid to do number three because I think it's going to land on the most unbecoming part of my leg. So this is my other rip skirt. I actually have two more than I've ordered. And the material, this doesn't really wrinkle up. It dries super quick. It lays beautiful because of the, I'm going to call it a pleat in the back, which it really isn't. It just gives it a really nice silhouette, a nice A-line look. And if you have, um, you know, like I said, a big bod or you have problem thighs, this might be something that you really like. So again, my, I always get the extra large. It gives me plenty of room to wrap around. And because it's Velcro, you can adjust it to be larger or smaller you know you can bring the velcro in a little tighter if you want it has some of them have pockets some of them have little hidden pockets but yeah the other i have two more coming 
in the rip skirts. I absolutely love them. They are pricey, but this one from last year in a chlorine pool in the ocean. Of course, I rinse it, right? I rinse it after I wear it, but I have worn it at barbecues. I've worn it at the ocean. I also bought myself a dupe. I was looking and I love the pattern. I love the material. This is a tad bit shorter on me. I think the rip skirt's 19 and a half. This is like 19, hardly even noticeable in the length. It has a nice little flare, A-line flare, and it is reversible. So you can wear the blue, right? You can wear the solid blue side, or you can wear the printed patent side. This does not have the Velcro. This has snaps. So if you like the snaps and they don't bother you, then this might be an option. The other thing I want to caution you on, and I'll probably do it with my rip skirt, I also, and I'll have this linked, I have bought this in an extra large as well, so I've got this folded against my rip skirt. <clears throat> I'm open it up, sorry, I should have probably did this ahead of time. But I have my rip skirt here folded in half, right? coming right to the edge here, and I have this folded in half. Both of these are extra large. So now I'm going to take the edge of this, and I'm going to bring it to the edge of my rip skirt, and I'm going to bring these down. And this may not be a big deal for anyone, but their rip skirt in black is probably about three inches wider the extra large all right so when i wear this blue one i'm very careful when i get up i'm very careful when the wind blows because it doesn't wrap the three inches extra to wrap around you i think makes a huge difference but the price in this is really uh, affordable i'm going to link it if i were to buy this brand again i would go up a size there is really nothing here that would make it so you can't do that because there's really no pockets in this particular one. Like in the rip skirt, there are pockets. And the other thing that I've, I've mentioned, I bought this on Amazon, and I will link this as well. This is Bailiff. This is their sports skirt. Skirt. So it's a skirt with the little pants underneath it. You know, you've all seen it for biking or for golfing or something like that. Anyways, the picture on Amazon made this look really super nice and I really like it but what I don't like about it is that it it's much more of a clingy material on my bum that's why I don't like it as much but I've worn this a number of times so I'm going to link it below too these are things that I wore on vacation almost every every day the other thing and I have one in my beach bag out in the car so I'm not going to go get it but a lot of times I'll wear a beach cover-up I have several different beach cover-ups that I really like. This one and my blue one I've worn, I get the most comments on when I wear it in my videos. I love the sleeves. It's got like a little material there. It's, it's really pretty. I also love the hemming. Same kind of material on the hem. Really, really pretty. These are beach cover-ups. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I mean, it says that it's shore line. Shoreline is the label, and I have it in size large, extra large. I bought these probably about three years ago, and I bought them, or maybe even four now, and I bought them in a little beachside shop at Hampton Beach. <laughs> so yeah, so I have this in the blue one, and you guys always ask me about that, always. So I, I wanted to share this with you. Uh, so you can see what it is. If if I can find it online, I will link it. If any of you find it online, let me know because I'd like to get more of them. I really I really do like them. And the the other thing that I ordered, I'm really bad with spending money lately. The other thing that I ordered is um, I got these Apple watches, and I know I've mentioned this before, and and even in my vlogs. But I got these Apple Watch band, and this is from a company called Cape Diablo. You may have seen this, I don't know if it's picking up, you may have seen this on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, but um, the premise behind this is that they have 
women artists, hundreds of artists that create these bracelets. They have all different things on their website. I did contact them and I did ask them where they were out of because I couldn't find that anywhere. But before I even did that, I ordered them and I got two of them in and I love them. So I wear my Apple Watch all the time. And the premise behind this is that you put this on the Apple Watch edge, right? You put this on the Apple Watch edge and then you wrap it around your wrist so that you have it like this kind of a look. And then there's this little button, so to speak, that you can make an adjustment. And if you don't like the thing hanging off, you just have to tuck it. You tuck it under your band and then it doesn't, it won't come out. It doesn't bother me at all. So I got two of them and this one is really super pretty because it's kind of blue which I thought was really nice. So I got, I got these. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I will link this. Again, this company does not know I exist at all. Um, they have um, no idea that I'm even going to talk about their bracelets, and they have not yet answered my inquiry, but I only sent it this morning, so I don't really expect. So a few of you asked about the Ferreira, the luxury concealer I talked about. And... I wear the color, most of the time, I wear the color, na is it natural beige? I think it's natural, I can't read it. Beige. They have light, and they have medium light, and then there's a fourth color. But these are the three that I've been, I've been wearing, these colors. And I've been using this for my scar cover-up. Um, it is, so far, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to really uh, swatch it. I don't know if I can do that. In a video that well but anyway so far this is the this is medium and this is the only concealer that I have used I don't even know if that's going to pick up because this is the darkest of it and to me it pulls peach and peach is fine for me you know it does not pull yellow the next one that I have is light, and this is the one, now I'm going to just put this on, and this is the one I use the most on my scar, you know. So the top one right here is the light. And then I'm going to be putting on the medium beige, the medium beige on top of the light, which is the one I wear the most. So, let's see if I can. So you have medium beige, you have light, and you have medium. And those are, I just think they are really pretty, pretty concealers. The light is very light. I use the light to lighten up, that's the one in the middle, to lighten up under my scar. But I will tell you, rubbing this in to my skin, let's see if I can rub this in, like I was going to wear it. Rubbing this into my skin, even when it dries down, and it doesn't take long to dry, dry it down, it does not, so far, accent any of my wrinkles. It is, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous concealer. I can't tell you how much I love this concealer, and I'm not, as some of you know, I am not a concealer person. I don't do a lot of concealers. Uh, I haven't really found any that work for me other than this. So... I'm super excited. This was sent to me complimentary from Friera via the Octoly Network in exchange for review. So I get that. They sent me four of them. I'm only showing you the three of them right now. Um, you know, I know I didn't pay for it and all that. But I think that if you are looking, if you're a mature chick, <laughs> a mature lady, and you're looking for something that works as a concealer that isn't going to, you know, make your wrinkles pop or make you look like a piece of cake, you know, frosting on a cake that is, you know, so, um, so cakey. This, this is definitely going to be something you should try. Definitely. So anyways, um, that's it. I want to talk about, I think every time I, I do a video, I kind of forget, see, because I don't write down my talking points unless I'm doing a wig review. Then I do, because of course I have to talk about different things. So, um, yeah, so that's it today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.